Welcome to this video tutorial for Stock Investor Pro, AAII's fundamental stock screening and research database. In this video segment, we will discuss backtesting using Stock Investor Pro. The first step in backtesting is to figure the first time frame in which you want to backtest. Um, in order to keep this video relatively short, um, I'll simply backtest a couple of periods and start with um, the end of 2013. Starting with the end of 2013 means that I need to install Stock Investor from that uh, period. So I'm going to go to www.aai.com and log in. And then I am going to go to the Stock Investor Pro area. Um, this area of our website has all of our previous installations of Stock Investor Pro archived, and any Stock Investor Pro subscriber can utilize um, all of these downloads. The past updates section are available in the Stock Investor Pro area, and as you can see, all of the Stock Investor installations are available. I'm simply going to click on the Stock Investor install from 2013 year end, which is 2013 12 31, and I am going to download the file. In this video, I'm actually not going to download it because I already have it, um, so I'm going to go ahead and cancel that. After you have the file downloaded, um, the next step is to install the file. Um, it's generally downloaded into um, a downloads folder. Um, here I have stock investor install underscore the date 2013 12 31. And I'm going to go through the process of installing Stock Investor Pro. Um, this video is for relatively advanced Stock Investor Pro users, so I'm not going to go through the process of installing or building any screens or building any views or building any custom fields. Um, this video is assuming that you already know how to utilize Stock Investor Pro and utilize all of those features. There are other Stock Investor Pro videos available um, for those that need a quick refresher on building screens, building views, and building custom fields. Stock Investor Pro should automatically open after the installation is completed. Once Stock Investor Pro is up and running, the first step is to actually create the custom field utilized in order to calculate monthly performance of the screen. So I'm going to go into the custom field editor, but firstly I'm going to check the date, December 31st, and then go into the custom field editor and create a monthly performance custom field. If you don't know the expression used in order to create a performance custom field or a monthly performance custom field, you can simply copy and paste the expression that's available in the May 2014 SI News, which can be found on our website. Once I'm done creating this custom field, it's going to be saved as monthly performance. Once this custom field has been created, you will be able to create views using this custom field, which is exactly um, what we're going to do. Using the view editor, we can create a new view showing this custom field that we've just created. Um, so in the view editor, I'm going to toggle the monthly performance custom field and save it as monthly performance view. Once a custom field and a custom view have been created to show us the monthly performance figures, I'm going to run a screen, the Piotrowski screen. It could be whatever screen that you want, but in our example, I'm going to backtrust the Piotrowski screen. Once I've run the screen, there's five companies passing. I'm going to save this, these passing companies as a portfolio. I'm going to simply name it Piotrowski January for the month that we are backtesting. These five companies are the passing companies for the Piotrowski screen on December 31st, 2013. In order to find the January performance for these companies, I need to figure out how these companies have done from January 31st to uh, from December 31st, 2013 to January 31st, 2014. Therefore, I'm going to download and then install the January 31st, 2014 Stock Investor Pro. Firstly, though, I'm going to back up the user files that I just created so that I don't lose any of my work. I've already created a folder on this computer called Backup for Screen Test, and I'm going to back up my user files into that folder. Now I'm going to install the January 31st, 2014 Stock Investor. 
As I'm installing, the installation wizard will ask me whether I want to retain my user files. In this example, I'm going to select yes, so that my user files will automatically be in the program. If you select no, you would have to restore your user files. And I'll go over how to do that in the next example. Stock Investor is now finishing up its January 31st, 2013, uh, 2014 installation, and it will open shortly. Once the program opens, you can easily toggle the portfolio that you've created. Um, it's called Piotrowski January, and I'm going to select that portfolio, and as you can see, the five stocks are selected. Now you can run several reports on these five stocks. Remember that this is now January 31st, 2014 data, so it's moved one month ahead now. These are the passing stocks on December 31st, 2013. So now I'm going to run some reports. The first report I'm going to run is a view report, all companies in Active Notebook. I'm going to preview this, and this shows me all of the performance, the monthly performance figures for each of the companies in the screen. If I run a statistical summary report for the Active Notebook and select the monthly performance view that I created, it will show me the median and the average performance for the companies in my screen. As, I can see, as you can see, this screen was able to average a little over 7% return in January of 2014. You've now cr completed one month of backtesting. The process is the same as you move forward. I'm going to do one more month, but I'm going to do it in a, in a little bit of a different manner. So. Now I'm going to run the Piotrowski screen one more time with the January 31st, 2014 data. Once again, as you can see, there's five stocks passing. And just along the same lines, I am going to save these five companies as a portfolio. I'm going to name it Piotrowski February now, as these five companies will give me the February returns, since these are the passing companies at the very end of January. Once again, I'm going to save my data files using Stock Investor Utilities so I don't lose them. I'm going to go ahead and save it over in the same folder, which will overwrite my previous saved user files. And now I'm going to install the February 28th, 2014 Stock Investor Pro, which is once again moving another month ahead. Since I'm moving one month ahead of, at a time, this particular backtesting process that I'm showing is based off of monthly rebalancing. You can also do quarterly rebalancing. You can do weekly rebalancing. You just have to move forward quarterly or weekly time periods at a time. In this particular example, I am going to select discard user files. If for some reason you've lost your user files, this is the reason why I've been backing them up into a folder after each installation. Since I selected to delete my old user files, when Stock Investor Pro opens, there will be no portfolios, there will be no screens, and there will be no views saved. You can easily remedy this by going to Stock Investor Utilities and then restoring your user files. This way, you'll never lose them. As you can see, I have no portfolios. I'm going to close Stock Investor and then now go into Stock Investor Utilities and restore my user files in the same folder that I backed them up into. Now I'm going to open Stock Investor. Since I just installed it, it's going to ask me to log in. I'm going to log in, and Stock Investor is going to look on her servers and see if there's newer data. Do not update to the newest data, because we want specifically February 28, 2014 data. Now, after Stock Investor Pro opens, all the, por the portfolios are back again. Opening up my portfolio from, for Piotrowski February, I'm going to run the statistical summary report again using the monthly performance view. And as you can see, that 
managed to gain a little over 0.3% uh, for the month of February. Moving forward, the backtesting process is just the same. You keep moving forward one month while creating portfolios for each month that you go forward. I would suggest backing up your user files after each monthly installation so that you never lose them. At the end of your backtesting time frame, you can simply string together the monthly performances for the investment methodology that you're trying to backtest.